As the Golden Eagles coming away with a win tonight by a score of 72 to 67. Coach of the Golden Eagles, Coach Jim Davis, sitting in with us. Coach, that one wasn't an easy one down the stretch. It was, it was embarrassing the way we played the second half. It really was. They, they were the aggressor, uh, and I thought we were the aggressor the first half, no question about it. Uh, but they started just sloughing off of us a little bit where we couldn't get the high lows, we couldn't get to the uh, basket cuts, and... Uh, uh, the second half, and we didn't do a good job of passing, didn't do a good job of ball reversal, we didn't do a good job reading screens. Uh, we tried to get some screening action going there the second half. We just didn't do a good job of it. One thing that was uh, definite in this basketball game, that's the fact this Jacksonville State team's a much better club than they were last year. Morton's a real player. There ain't no question about it. And, and you know, the difference is they got a coach in there that is, uh, he's, he's a proven winner. He had a heck, he had a, he had a, a really, really good program at South Alabama. And uh, they chose to make the change, and uh, Jacksonville State's very, very fortunate to pick him up. No doubt about it. Yeah, and then I guess the big uh, thing coming down the stretch, your young freshman with Diamond out of the game, uh, Heron went to the line and very calmly made four free throws for you to solve that one away. No question about the fact she did. She's, she's getting better. You know, our freshmen basically are playing like freshmen. Uh, we had uh, we gave up six uncontested threes, six uncontested threes, and and 23. The scouting report says you know that's simply what she does. She's taken uh, 56 before tonight. 56 of her 76 shots were three pointers, and tonight uh, four out of uh, four out of 11 shots were uh, three pointers. So. But, you know, we just stand out there and let her shoot it. And that's, that was our problem, and I thought we'd learned our lesson. That was our problem at Arkansas State. That was our problem at Arkansas. And uh, we're just getting, we're dead last in the OVC in three-point field goal percentage defense. And it didn't get any better tonight. No doubt about that. First half of the game, boy, you pounded it inside, was able, as you said, had everything going, and uh, you had a good recipe. It built a big lead up to 23 at one point. Right. And uh, they did a good job choking back down inside. We missed so many shots, though, I, free throws. We were 17 of 31 from the free throw line. That's 14 misses. And don't tell how many of those were one and ones. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's a difference in the game. They're 19 out of 24. So uh, that's, that's, uh, that was the reason for the comeback there. Plus, we put them on the dang free throw line early in the second half, and they gained momentum by walking up there and shooting free throws. And uh, we just, uh, we got out rebounded by this bunch and that's disheartening, that's disappointing because we are so much bigger and more athletic than they are. But at any rate, that's the way it happened. Yeah, I was just gonna look back and see, I know you all were winning the, the battle at, at, at halftime on the boards, but boy, second half, that just goes to show that aggressiveness that you talked about paying off for them. There's no doubt about it. They were the aggressor in the second half and uh, I am terribly disappointed in the way that we played. But it is a win. Golden Eagles now moving forward. Uh, gets one more uh, non-conference game, and that's Thursday night, and that's uh, against a very, very good foe in Middle Tennessee. Hey, uh, they've beaten some really, really good teams. Uh, they rely upon a, uh, the row girl. She takes more than half of the shots that they take. And uh, so it's going to be a challenge. We got to go to their house and... Uh, you know, hopefully we can improve on our play tonight and uh, get a win over there against the Blue Raiders. Coach, appreciate it. Happy New Year to you. Look forward uh, to getting going again after the first of the year. Great. Thank you, Roger. Happy New Year to our fans. All right. Coach Jim Davis visiting with us tonight. Tennessee Tech wins tonight by a score of 72-67. to 67.